Okay. Excusez-moi, madame. Oui. Vous allez oublier ça. Oh, merci. Vous êtes prêts. C'est gentil. Et bonne journée. Au revoir. The lady forgot her, you know, loyalty card, her punch card. I'm happy to give it back to her, but it feels weird to touch someone else's loyalty card. Yeah, we'll hold it. It's Monday. I I think I think it's I'm 90 95% sure it's Monday. And uh, the last episode of our podcast just dropped today. Thank you so much to our super patrons who were with us the whole way. Uh, we paused the Dread Gods patron account for now, but we'll make a comeback. If you haven't listened to the podcast at all yet, uh, maybe the last episode isn't necessarily the best place to start, but it's not a bad place to start. It's a good episode. It's got Richard, Zach, and I sitting around the table talking for the first time in a long time that we've been able, or allowed even, to talk together. And, um, sorry, just look at that. Doesn't that look good? Doesn't, doesn't that look good? I'm trying to get it, I'm trying to get it in focus. Hold on. Maybe if it dominates the screen, it'll get, it'll get in focus. It's so curly and chocolatey. Mmm, delicious. I have to eat it out of the bag though right now because it's like so flaky that I'm sure it'll explode all over my floor if I don't. It's probably still going to get out of the bag a little bit, but let's give this a try. Mm. Mm. Mostly okay. This is why I own a vacuum. So, my coffee's almost done brewing. Throat kind of hurts. I have a lot of random stuff I need to get done. Lots of work that I can do from kind of anywhere, but I was also thinking, so since Macron announced that cafes can open back up, I do have a little bit of money left over from uh, the virtual coffees, and I want to use it here soon to buy some virtual coffees. And I think that in the conversation with the other coffee shops, they were all really generous and wanted me to give it to others. So I have two in mind that I was thinking I'd split it between. I need to check and see how much is left today. Uh, and then we, I don't know if we're gonna do that today, we could do that this afternoon, perhaps, or later, but right now, I need to sit down and just like get caught up on a bunch of, you know, admin work. I have a phone call at two this afternoon, but maybe I'll bump to be earlier if we're gonna go do the virtual coffee thing. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit demotivated, not demotivated, I don't know what the, I don't know what the dealio is, but I am feeling a little bit sluggish lately. I've been feeling very indecisive and like I find myself standing in various places, even in public with friends, like kind of like looking to the left and then looking to the right. I'm just not really knowing what to do with myself, where to go next, how to live my life. I don't know if you're feeling that way at all, but I think it's partially, you know, the result of all the craziness that's been going on uh, in our lives as a whole. I don't really know what to make of it, but I think sitting, staring at my computer and knocking off a bunch of small things from my to-do list, because I've got a lot of little things that I really need to get done, uh, should help at least free up a little bit of brain space. That's the plan. Also, the sun was delightfully hidden behind a cloud until just now. And then the cloud betrayed me. So maybe working from this desk isn't going to work. I don't know. We'll find out here in a minute. Maybe the clouds will come back and save us. Looks like they might be doing exactly that as we talk about it. Fantastic. Also, while we're talking about patrons and being blinded by light and generosity, I want to thank S. Mary Demner for buying me a pen of chocolate this morning. I mean, uh, being the patron producer of today's episode. Kind of the same thing. If you feed me, you feed the vlog. It, it, it does go hand in hand. Keeping me alive keeps the whole YouTubing thing alive. Uh, but thank you so much and thanks to all my patrons. Again, thanks to the super patrons that join both uh, my Patreon and the Dread Gods Patreon. And again, it'll make a comeback someday, but for now we're gonna keep it paused and uh, not charge you anything until we're ready to get it back up and running again. So, you know, that's kind of important to make sure that you're not getting charged for stuff that isn't happening. But Richard and I were talking about continuing to post there from time to time. So keep your eye on that account. Anyways, I'm going to work here for a little bit. I'm going to finish this bag of a pan of chocolat. Probably should actually pour my coffee out now. I spilled it spilled a little bit. I was getting kind of fancy with, um, I was playing with it a little bit too much and it spilled a little bit and I just noticed that. I'm going to drink my coffee. I'm going to drink, I'm, I'm going to drink my coffee. I'm, Um, hmm. Yeah. Feel 
get the job done. What can I say? I'm a lucky failure. <laughs> I've been, I, just, I was just reading some messages from some of you that were very nice. I have something to, I actually have something to confess. It's not really much of a confession, it's almost more of an announcement, but um, also just got off of a three hour long phone call with my buddy Brian, who if you've read this book, The Sea of the Unknown, shameless plug, then you'd know that he was a co-founder and business partner in Where Is It and uh, Boomerang, the product that we put together, the Bluetooth bracelet for kids that uh, failed miserably. But that doesn't mean that we stopped thinking, coming up with ideas. And uh, there's a business idea that we've been talking about for, gee, like six months, a year. I don't even know how long it's been. That is really cool, and I'm really excited to share with you at some point. But we made some good headway on it, and um, they've, they've been putting in the majority of the work. There's some uh, nerdy programming engineering stuff that's going on uh, that I've gotten to be uh, a part of, but I haven't done as much of the like heavy lifting as they have so far. Of course, that's gonna change in the future, and uh, right as I, you know, of course, say something like, I'm gonna have a little bit more t concentrated time on just doing YouTube, of course, then I think, well, why not, you know, start another tech product. So that's that's an ongoing uh, thing in the background that I wanted to let you know was happening because at some point I'll, I'll be sure to tell you about it because uh, I'm excited about it. I hope you're excited about it too. I hope that the bouncing camera wasn't too, uh, that's kind of funny actually how it bounces like that. I hope it wasn't too distracting. Anyways, that was one part of it. Uh, another part, there's multiple confessions. So that was confession number one. I've got a secret project that I'll tell you about at some point. I may have mentioned it before, but uh, you know, for those of you that weren't tracking. Uh, confession number two, I definitely need to take uh, the rest of the afternoon to just like collect my thoughts. I will need to put in a little more work on that. I will need to probably do a little bit more and I wanna go for a run. But I've been feeling really overwhelmed and pretty stressed out lately, um, which I've talked about. And yeah, I, I, I promised I would take breaks when I needed them. So today's video is gonna be really simple. I mean, it's not a total break. I'm still making a video, uh, but that's that's part of the reason why I'm simplifying it down. And then the final thing is that I, some of you may have known this. Uh, I think if you've been following for a long time, you know that there came a point where I needed help with communication. Kate helps uh, proactively communicating like through the newsletter, especially. And then she monitors a few of my email accounts. And then my sister was monitoring my Instagram DMs and another email account and something else as well. But the Instagram DMs in particular have also become a little bit overwhelming for her, which is great. I mean, thank you everybody for reaching out, liking and doing, you know, all of the interaction that's been able to happen through Instagram. Um, but for, I just wanted to say, I'm sorry if you haven't heard from me for a while through that, I was looking at the DM requests and, uh, and then their various inboxes within Instagram. And uh, there are a lot that have just not even been opened for a long time. And I, I really want to try to say hi, and I'm gonna keep trying, but uh, maybe a significant delay on that. So that's the end of the confessions. I hope you can forgive me, but even if you can't, that's just the reality of it. So things are going really well here. I actually feel really good after having a long chat with Brian. He's just a really good friend and I really appreciate, you know, any amount of time that I get to sit and talk about the world's problems with him or our problems. I also don't feel too bad about, uh, you know, having a simple video today because it's gonna be a fun week. That sounds like it's gonna involve learning how to make dumplings going to a zoo, among other things. So there's, there's you know, there's good stuff that's gonna be happening here in Paris. And, and the zoo in question is one I've never been to. I've been around it, but I've never actually gone inside. So that's kind of exciting. Anywho, today's video might be a little bit shorter, which means it may, may, it may, not, may, not, may not get recommended to you the way that YouTube likes to recommend and not recommend things. So I hope you get to see this. And if you don't, it's okay. Also on the shameless plug side, just to be, I, I've been getting a lot of questions about the paperbacks. We only printed 500 of these. A chunk of them are here in Paris. So if you are in Paris, you can get at this collection by going to the Peloton right now. They have copies available for 20 euros, which is really good because in all honesty, um, that's a savings because you're not having to pay shipping because I already paid the shipping. So just make sure you buy a coffee from them too and support them in lieu of paying shipping. That sounds really good. Support the Peloton, they are, you know, Delightful, get a waffle. But there will be there will be options for paperbacks in the future. I Like I said, I have about 10, I think, uh, sitting around in Minneapolis right now that I will be able to sell, but I'm just gonna wait until 
uh, I know for sure that we're not missing very many, if too many, from people that have already purchased them. Because it could take a while for them to get out, the way that the shipping is working. Right. I, there's so many things that I have not even gotten. My dad sent me a very important document in the mail, like, a month or two ago, and it still hasn't gotten here. So there, you know, there are troubles in the shipping world and industry. But that said, we're gonna come up with a, there's there's another solution to getting you a paperback book in the not too distant future. That'll be it'll be a second edition. So if you want to get this very first print run, this very first edition, however it is that we're distinguishing them, uh, keep your ears open or come to Paris and get one. The borders are apparently open with like Germany and Switzerland and Belgium right now. And the UK, although you have to quarantine if you go to the UK, so maybe avoid that for now. But yeah, hop on over from Germany and grab yourself a copy. Yes, I'm talking to you. German person who thinks I'm talking to you right now, I mean, I, you're the one I'm talking to, exactly. All right, well, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and um, wrap it up for today. I'm gonna go for a run. I'll edit this, I'll get a little more work done. Go to bed at a decent hour tonight, hopefully get some good sleep, and then tomorrow, we got some fun stuff coming. We got some dumplings on the way. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day, wherever it is you are. And uh, oh yeah, we'll also figure out how and when I'm gonna get um, those virtual coffees purchased. I realized what I have is 300, if I split it, there's 730 euros of virtual coffee money left. So if I split that between two places, it's 365. One for one coffee for every day of the year, per euro, one euro per every, anyways. One of the two coffee shops in mind though, I'm not sure that he's gonna be in for it. So I'm gonna talk to him first and then we'll figure it out from there. But you'll see that here in the near future if you just keep watching. So do keep a watching, do keep a watching. And you go for a run, I'll see you soon.